Hi Noah, this is Kelsey, your reading buddy. Hope you're doing well and having a good day. I'm not sure when you're going to get this video, but I hope you're staying cool during the middle of the summer. It's a hot day today as I record this. And I hope you're having um, fun, having a lot of fun activities to keep your summer busy. And I hope you're also doing some learning activities like reading or maybe trying some different math problems or things to keep your mind working too. That's really important over the summer so you don't forget everything you learned in the last school year. So I have a new story today. It's called Climbing Trees. I wonder if you've ever climbed a tree before. When I was younger, I used to do this all the time. And actually, when I climbed trees, I would take a book with me and I would go and I had this tree in my backyard. It was had like two branches that were really uh, good to sit on. They were like a chair. And I would sit up there and I would read books for hours and I just loved it. Nice and shady and private and peaceful. So I have this one, like I said, it's called Climbing Trees. And we'll get started. So it's Climbing Trees by Anne Hearth. And there's Anne again. She's written a lot of these stories we've read together. Let's see how it goes. Climb higher, Reese, Isaac said. It's easy. Reese held on. The bark was rough under his fingers. He looked down. The ground seemed very far away. His foot slipped and he gripped harder. I wonder if Reese is having a very good time. Look at him here. It kind of looks like he's maybe a little scared or sad. Looks like he's kind of shaking a little bit too. I like it here, Reese said. There is a nest up here, Isaac called. Don't be scared. I'm not scared, Reese's voice shook. I like it here. Reese's hands were damp. His knees felt wobbly. I'm thirsty, he called. Let's get a drink. Do you think that Reese was really thirsty? Or do you think maybe he was just a little scared? Isaac scrambled down. He stopped on the branch above Reese. Go on, he said, get down. Reese bent over and looked at the ground. Jump, Isaac said. I like to climb down better. Reese turned around. He put his arm around the tree trunk. Then he stretched one foot way down. He touched the ground with a toe. Reese backed away from the tree. How do you think you would get down? You think you would jump down or would you kind of hold on and stretch one foot? I would definitely stretch. I, I don't like to jump from heights. Isaac thudded to the ground beside him. You should have come up, he said. It's easy. Reese shrugged. Let's get a drink. The next morning, Reese walked outside. He looked up into the branches of the tree. Could he climb it? Was it really easy? Cheap. What was that? Cheap. <laughs> Look at that bird over here. Actually, I bet it's more like cheap, cheap, right? <laughs> Some of those birds get pretty loud. Something moved in the grass under the tree. He walked closer and knelt down. Oh no, Reese whispered. A tiny bird opened its beak. You're hungry, said Reese. He looked up. He saw the nest on a branch in the middle of the tree. Reese picked up the little bird. I guess I'll have to put you back home. Good thing he was there, right, to help save that bird. Do you think he can do it? Can you get that bird up there? I don't know, it seemed pretty high yesterday when Isaac was climbing. Let's see. Reese tucked the bird into his shirt pocket. He put one foot on the lowest branch. 
He took a deep breath. I can do this, he said to the bird. All right, he's feeling good now that he has a reason for going. Reese climbed. His legs wobbled. He climbed higher. His heart pounded, but he didn't stop. He looked up. The nest was just above his head. He took the bird out of his pocket. Cheep. Oh, look here, you can see the little egg maybe where it hatched from. Reese placed it into the nest. He looked down. The ground was very far away. Reese looked around. He could see forever. His legs didn't wobble. His heart didn't pound. Well, that's odd. I wonder why he wasn't wobbling and pounding. Hey, Reese. Reese looked down through the branches. Isaac waved. Climb up, Isaac, Reese laughed. It's easy. <laughs> That's a turn of events, right? Now, Reese is the one up there saying, hey, Isaac, you gotta climb up because it's so easy. That was not the way he felt yesterday. Okay, so that's cute. He saved a little birdie and he got over his fear of climbing trees. So let's go over these comprehension questions we've got here. Looks like we've got three for us this time. Number one, what did Isaac find in the tree? You remember? I think I remember. There wasn't much that we talked about being in the tree. But if it was Isaac, then it must have been near the beginning because most of the story we talked about Reese. Oh, look, here's Isaac. Let's see. This is when Reese is getting down. Oh, oh, here we go. I like it here, Reese said, which meant I like it here down low on the tree. There's a nest up here, Isaac called. So ding, ding, Isaac found a nest up in the tree. That's what I thought it was. Is that what you thought? And there's that nest again. Okay. Where did Reese put the baby bird as he climbed the tree? Let's go back. I saw a picture of this when we were reading. I thought it looked pretty cute. Let's see if you remember. Here we go, look. You see in the picture? Look, that bird is so, so happy. Reese tucked the bird into his shirt pocket. So not all shirts have a pocket right there, but a lot of them do, especially boys' shirts I've noticed. So you put that little birdie in there. I bet that kind of tickled a little bit. All right, last question. Where was the baby bird's nest? Hmm. Let's see. This one I think I might know too. Look, see here we're talking about the nest and how high Reese is up in the tree. Uh, so the nest was just above his head. I think that might be all the clues that we get. Uh, maybe one more. Yeah, right here. You're hungry, Reese said. He looked up. He saw the nest on a branch in the middle of the tree. So that probably means like from the bottom of the tree to the very top of the tree, right in the middle of how tall that tree is. So that's where the nest was. I was thinking just in the tree, but I guess it did give us some more specific clues that we could use to answer that question. All right. Well, I think that was a pretty cute one. Hopefully you liked it. And I'll We'll try and record another story for you soon. Okay, have a great day. Noah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.